January 1959, Lennon's buddies went for the original bands were out of the picture. It was just him, Paul, and George. They continued to perform, though, sometimes performing as Johnny and Moondogs. Whenever they could find a random drummer, they would play a show. Meanwhile, Lennon had begun studying at Liverpool College of Art. And there, he met a new named Stuart Sutcliffe. They became friends, and Sutcliffe joined the band on bass. It was around this time that they got a residency in the famous red light district of Hamburg, West Germany. They also got a drummer named Pete Best. For the next three and a half months, the now five piece bands played lots of shows in Hamburg. Even though they were all back in Liverpool in early 1961, they'd be back to Hamburg several times over the next couple years. Around that time, Sutcliffe left the band to go back to school and pursue painting, and McCartney took over bass. Tragically, Sutton would die from a brain hemorrhage next year. Around 1961, the Beatles began to build up a following of growing mercy. They would do their names, Bert and Bert, hired the Beatles, and now a four-piece to tour and tour. Perform and was extremely impressed. By January 1962, he was their manager who was trying to get them out of their contract with Burt Campbell. By May, they were free of that contract, and Epstein had already been arranging auditions for the Beatles with new record labels. Epstein and the Beatles were rejected by Columbia Records, HMV, High Records, Phillips Records, Oriole Records, and others. The band auditioned for Decca Records and famously rejected them by telling Epstein that. a few songs in September, and of those, Martin chose the song Must Be New to be their first single, releasing it on October 5th, 1962. 